Hi, this is Junio and I'm going to teach you how to make a crossover fencer layout. Now what we will make basically looks like this sample. This is the finished product. Just take a look at it and observe what it contains so that you will not be confused on the process of our tutorial. So that's it. You can see that there are three boxes. One for the control panel which is composed of your primary pick, some buttons under it, and some info at the right side of your primary photo. The next box is for the navigation, and the next box is for the other fencer content. Now, that's where the other fencer content will appear upon clicking the link on the navigation. Now let's start making your crossover layout. The first step is creating your background image. Now I have provided here the background image of the finished product. The size of it is 1024 on the width and 768 on the height. You can, but you can put any width or height you want but for now we are going to use the standard size so that's it you can put any design you want you put your name some pictures fill it up with color and and now we have your background image so in setting up these boxes where the fencer contents will appear you can put them basically anywhere on the image and you can add more boxes but now we're just going to use two boxes and one another one for the navigation just to show you and now you can just watch me finish this simple background image going to do the HTML part of creating this crossover layout. You need to open an HTML editor but now I am using Macro Media Dreamweaver 4. It's pretty old but it works anyway so let's use it. Now open it and on the workspace right click it, click page properties and for the background image, click browse and browse for the background image you have just created. Now you have the background image on Dreamweaver. Now on these, the, uh, what you call this bar, it's called the objects toolbar. Click this one. It's the draw layer tool and draw layer for the first box then you have it click this little button over here then the properties toolbar will appear change its name to um, profile and then for the navigation create another box click again this little button and change its name in the properties as navigation 
and then on the last box create another layer and then name it as my name after that you're done with the HTML part you click this code view up here on the upper left side of Dreamweaver then you will see here the codes of the HTML but before we copy those codes we need you need to copy the JS template I have provided at the documentation of this tutorial you need to open notepad and paste all the contents of that template once you have um, pasted the contents you save it save it as a JS file with your name.js and then let's go back to Dreamweaver and copy the codes now the codes you need here is just from the first div to the last div and where you would put that you would put that on the JS template now observe the green parts those are the parts which you will replace with the codes you have just copied from Dreamweaver now the next thing you're going to do is open a new notepad and copy the CSS template I have provided here at the documentation of this tutorial now this CSS is basically just for the color of the text and the buttons on the control panel now you can replace the color codes which are the number codes here on the CSS template with um, hex codes uh, they you can find these color codes on the internet just research for it and then save it as a CSS file just put there on the file name of your CSS my CSS.css for example and change the save as type file as all files so that it would be saved as a CSS not as text after you have saved it you can now upload your background image and your CSS file now you can use any file host but if you don't know any you can just use the file attachments form of my site make your own thread name it after your name and then attach those files now you can get the link by clicking the attach file attachments and replace the red part of the JS file with the link of your background image and the blue part of the JS template with the link of your CSS. Now save your JS for changes and you can now upload your JS file to my farm in the same thread you have created. And that's it. You have your JS URL by clicking it and copying it in the. Now you can apply your layout. Go to the instructions on layout installation, use your JS URL, and now you, can, you have your own crossover layout. I hope this helped you. Thank you. And keep enjoying layouts from my site.